Hi, welcome to the Student Residence Center. I'm Makoli. I'm Dulce. And I'm Naraz. It is your responsibility to review the contents of the housing manual, contracts, and this orientation video. Also, don't forget to check the messages shown at the bottom of this video. Hey guys, just a reminder, you are not required to live at YBCSRC and it's a privilege to live on campus. We are student actors portraying different roles in this video. This video, including messages, examples, and references, are provided for informational purpose only. This is the organizational chart for the Student Residence Center here at Yakima Valley College. Our director is over my management, conduct, and financial. We have an office assistant three, which is here during the day and can answer any financial questions you have. We have two program assistants here that are um, on duty in the evening, and we have two custodians that will clean all of the common areas, which include restrooms, kitchen, and the recreational area. Appendix, housing payments and fees academic calendar and payment schedule, approved checkout dates, bill, green sheet, and mailbox. Daily, monthly, and quarterly payment options, daily and monthly payments, quarterly payment options for summer, fall, winter, and spring, and our fee schedules. Financial aid payments, fees and fines for any item or equipment that has damaged or broken a cost to fix or repair. Payment and deadlines, payment options. Payments, pending receipt, probation, unpaid debts. Guest check-in form must be turned in by 10.30 to the SRC office or staff. Guests must be over the age of 18. Um, ID may be requested. We need a date of the um, uh, guest here, the time, name, dates, and resident name and room number. SRC important information, how to apply for housing at Yakima Valley Student Residence Center, $350 deposit, um, you can pick your room preference. We do um, work on a room preference, a first come first serve with based on deposit date, check-in dates, check-in details, check-in location with our campus map, we have services, contact information, receiving mail, con contact information, and campus security. SRC financial information. We have our prorated monthly amounts for the check-in dates you are um, moving into the dorms. We will have prorated amounts daily, monthly, and quarterly. Um, where you can pay the prorated calculations and the financial aid example. Missing person contact form. Um, this is an optional form that can be filled out if a roommate has not seen you or SRC staff has not seen you in a few days. We can contact um, anybody that's listed on this form. How do I add funds to my card? So you're going to get your one card from the information desk in the hub. Go to the YBC website, add the funds. Fill out your information with your credit card. All asterisks must be filled out. And if you have any questions, you can contact the technology services, business office, or auxiliary services. RAVE is YBC's alert messaging system. You can sign up for this to get text messages or emails of any emergencies, power outages happening at Yakima Valley College. Um, these messages are serviced by campus security. Room check-in condition form. This must be completed, filled out, and returned to the SRC office 48 hours after check-in. This has name, SID, room number, room size, cleanliness, damage, items presented in the room, sign and date that, and then return it to the SRC office. SRC kitchen frying rules. Stove top and range. You can boil, warm, steam and warm pre-cooked food. Examples are boil ramen, boil mac and cheese, noodles, steamed vegetables, warm pre-cooked soups. You cannot deep fry, pan fry, or roasting. Examples, no grease, butter, oil, no frying, bacon of eggs, no frying hamburger, chicken, or vegetables.
SRC kitchen rules, clean up after yourself, the oven and range, no frying, no grease, no oil, garbage, only use kitchen garbage when using the trash bins, no personal room trash, fridge, please label your food and room number and date or items will be discarded daily, sink, remove your dishes, small appliances, Oven liners, do not remove the oven liner. Microwave, please remember to cover your food when using the microwave and clean up after any spills. YBC One Card and our SRC Laundry. Steps to get the student ID card one card. Um, one is get the card from the hub, which is building nine. Two, load the card. Three, use the one card at the laundry machines reader. Four is our technical issues. Um, and laundry issues, contact phone numbers. We have links for our website. YVC Student Resident Center will give each resident one pack of command strips and one square of mounting putty. We like you to use these products when hanging any items in your dorm room. If you do need additional, you can come into the SRC office and we can help you with that. To be eligible to live in the SRC, you must maintain at least seven college credits during the academic year and five college credits during the summer in an SRC approved program of study. Hey guys, for any accommodation, just let the housing office know. The SRC office does accommodate service animals and accommodation slash emotional support animals. For your emotional support animal to reside with you at the SRC, you need an approval from Disability Support Services and a signed YVC SRC expectations regarding possession of an accommodation slash emotional support animal for on-campus college housing form and YVC housing accommodation verification form. The larger key is, for, is the dorm room key, the smaller key is for the mailbox key, and this is a key fob. You have to pay $25 for the room key, $25 for the mailbox key, and $50 for the key fob for each one you lose. Be sure to take care of them. This is your key fob used to access the halls. Scan it on the security pad and open the door. You can also use your key fob to scan the security pad closest to the door. When you check in, you get three keys. The smaller one is your mailbox key. And the larger key is your room key. What are you doing? I'm just like studying. I have an exam at six. At six? Yeah. That's kind of late. Yeah, it is pretty late. I wonder if I could have anyone like walk me to my class. You know what you can do? You can call security and you can ask if they're available. Oh, I can ask security to escort me to my classes? Yeah, and if they're available, they can walk you through like to your class. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll okay. I, I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah. So in case of an emergency, the emergency exits are located here for Lion Hall and here for Hoff Hall at the south end of the dorms. And here's the emergency exit for Hop Hall in case of an emergency. In case of an emergency, here's the exit door for Lion Hall. Every dorm room has a smoke detector on the ceiling. Please do not attempt to cover or remove it. There are fire alarms and smoke detectors in the hallways of the building. When they go off, please exit the building through your nearest exit. The first four rows of, of parking lot J is for faculty members and staff. The lot K is for students and you don't need park permit to park in it. 
However, if you park in lot N, you need a permit and it's a dollar a day. This is parking lot N by the Student Residence Center. A permit of a dollar a day is required to park here. The first four rows are part of lot J and are reserved for faculty and staff. And the rest is part of lot K and is a student parking. No permit is required. This is building number 29 where you can find the security office. This is a security office where you'll find the address, the day phone, and the night phone. This is building number 30 where you can find the student residence center office. We are right outside of the SRC office. This is their address, their day phone, and their night phone. Let's go check it out. It is your responsibility to check your mailbox every day, the messages in the TV every day, and if you like to send an outgoing mail, put the mail in the slot below the mailbox. To mail today. Cool. Yeah. And you got a package? From Amazon. Oh, cool. Can you go pick it up from the office? Oh, do you, what day is it today? It's the... Dude, it's the 7th today. I think I'm late for rent. Dude, no way, really? Yeah. You had till the 1st to pay it, and then you had a grace period till the 5th. Like, how could you forget that? I didn't know that. Oh, man. I mean, the monitors show when the date is to pay. Like, you don't look at the monitors every day? I thought it was just a other oh, information. Oh, really? Honestly, no, you yeah. have to look at it. Every, look at it every single day. It's really important. Cause then, then what? It, well, you, you're gonna get a twenty-five dollar late fee. Um, what if I don't pay twenty-five? Then though? you could get evicted from the SRC. Oh wow, that's serious. Yeah, man. So I should be paying right now. Yeah, you have to go to DCO right now. You wanna go with yeah, me? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Awesome, that'd be great. You can pay your bill in building number eight, DCO building, which is next to baseball field on the north side of the campus. Take your green sheet with you so that the cashier office will have correct information from the housing office. The cashier's hours are 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday during academic year and 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday during summer. The rent bill, which is your green sheet, will be in your mailbox two weeks before the first of the month. It will have the month you are paying, the instructions, the late fee, the name, the date we printed it, student ID number, room number, any fees you owe, rent payments, quarters, total due, and your due date. All payments need to go to the cashier's office. If you have any questions about the bill, please come to the SRC office during the day. Hey, I got a lockout. Could you help me get in, please? Yeah, just fill out the lockout binder. Just remember, after your third one, you'll have to pay $50 each time you have a lockout. But the good thing is that it will reset after each quarter. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Hi there, I have a package for Smith 201. Awesome. Thank you. Civility in the housing manual states that residents are expected to maintain integrity in all relationships, respect the dignity, and value the worth of all persons. Residents will at no time physically, verbally, mentally, psychologically, or sexually abuse any member of this community, including SRC staff, nor participate in or condone any form of bigotry, harassment, intimidation, or threat, whether verbal, written, physical, or psychological, di direct or implied. Come in. Hey, what's hey, up? How did you get in here? I, the door is open, man. It's Dang, the same the door. music. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. How's it been? Not bad. I like this beat. Yeah, it sounds really cool. I need to get this song. Dude, I don't think you can have a guest after 10.30. Is she signed in? Really? Does it matter? Oh, yeah. 
Well, I don't know. She might get thrown out. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, what? What's the smell in here? I, I don't smell anything. It wasn't me. No. Dude, man, somebody been smoking in here? No. Nope. It smells like marijuana. Oh, really? Yeah, you guys been at a party or something? Well, yeah, we were at a party, so we just came Oh, we back. didn't smoke, though. It smells strong enough where you guys could get in trouble here, man. Jeez, really? I thought yeah. you'd have to smoke to be in trouble. Nope. No, nope, but it's strong enough. I can smell it. I'm, I'm three doors down. I can Wait, smell you. you. I can smell you, hear you. And you guys better get it together. You guys oh, might man, get so you breaking the community standards. I'm gonna go back to bed. Yeah, I'm right, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry about good that. Night. Yeah, have a good night, man. You told Damn, me that. I forgot, honestly. Gee, you should have told me about this. Dude, what should I do? Hold on, I'm reading the rules. Okay, what do the rules say? Dude, actually, you gotta read. I have I to go leave? right now. Right now. Jeez, okay. Go, go, right now. In this scenario, there was a strong smell of marijuana. This is grounds for disciplinary sanctions, including eviction from SRC. And your SRC housing manual says, possessing, delivering, sharing, transporting, administering, consuming, selling, or knowingly being in the presence of alcoholic beverage, illegal drug, or controlled substance is prohibited. The illegal possession or use of paraphernalia and or compounds which produce hallucinations or illusions when introduced into the body and all compounds covered under federal and state drug control laws is prohibited except when the use or possession of a drug is specifically described as medication by an authorized practitioner. Detectable intoxication is prohibited within the SRC. Residents may not display alcohol or drug paraf paraphernalia. Paraphernalia is confiscated and destroyed. It, this includes rapid consumption device or beer bongs, empty alcohol containers such as beer cans, wine bottles, liquor bottles, pipes designed for the use of illegal drug consumption, hypodermic needles and related equipment designed for the use of illegal drug consumption. Residents are responsible for their own actions and reporting actions of others involved in drug and or drug related conduct which are in the facility. Residents must immediately report all violations to the Director of Auxiliary Services. Withholding knowledge of suspected alcohol and drug misconduct is prohibited. In short, alcohol or drug related incidents are grounds for eviction from the SRC. In this scenario, the student actors violated the Quiet Hours SRC Housing Manual Community Standards. These are the actual um, Quiet Hours for both halls. For the half hall, Quiet Hours are Sunday through Thursday, 11 p.m. to 10 a.m. and Friday and Saturday from 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. Lion Hall is 24-7 Quiet Hours. In both the line and half halls, beginning the start of each finals week through the end of finals week, quiet hours will be 24 hours a day. Hey, hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, I saw your friend yesterday at the store. Oh, nice. How's she doing? Good. And she was like, uh, she couldn't visit you anymore. Oh, really? Oh, that. It's because she's persona non grata. What does that mean? It means she violated the SRC community standards and she's not allowed into the SRC anymore. Not even in the kitchen or any other residence room? Nope. What if she does though? Well, if she does, then security or the police will be called. Oh, wow. It's pretty serious. What? Can you get a dog? Oh, I just got a puppy yesterday. <gasps> oh, that's so, so cute, cute. right? You're not supposed to have pets in the dorm room, so. Really? Who's that? The SRC staff? It's in the manual too. Oh really? Yeah, you're not supposed you dog pets aren't allowed in the room. I didn't know that. What but am I gonna so do? Cute. I know. Um uh, you need ready. you need to get rid of it. Like what? You need to get rid of it like right now. Hey. Hey. Um, how do you make a sexual harassment complaint? Well you can go to the website ybcc.edu slash uh, human resources 
we have some procedure for formal and informal complaints. Uh, what is sexual harassment? Sexual harassment is any kind of harassment that is sexual in nature, which is unwelcome, and which uh, denies or limits your ability as a YVC student or worker to participate in any kind of activities. What are examples of sexual harassment? It includes um, requesting for sex in exchange for higher grades, touching in sexual nature, emails, messages, text. Um, where can I get the sexual harassment pamphlet? Well, you could get this pamphlet in uh, housing offices. We have this in uh, human resources offices. You can Google it or you can find it online. All right, thank you for this information. Oh yeah, you're welcome. For more information on sexual harassment and campus security, go to the YBC website. In this page, you can click on the services tab and you can find campus safety and security. Click on it and it will lead you to this page. In this page, you can find annual security report, college crime statistics, and how to report sexual harassment. For more, for more information on annual security report, report, you can view the document. For college crime statistics, click on this tab and you can find mm, college statistics and all the uh, statistics and Clary Act reporting and to report sexual harassment click this tab in this page you can find uh, a way to file a complaint of discrimination And for, for more information, contact security at 509-574-4610. Oh, my key phone? Yeah. What, what do you need it for? I don't want to go lend you something. Oh, sorry. I can't lend you, lend or borrow my keys to you. Just for a second? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. It's against the SRC rules. Oh, you have to go to the office and report a lockout, and they'll help you get back in. Hey, what's Hi. up? What's up? What's going on? Just, just some pop. Yeah, nonsense. That's, that's my pop. Uh, you can take other people's food. Oh yeah, it's against the rules. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry about that. Uh, it's all right. Uh, what are you making? Oh, just making some bacon for my eggs. Are oh, you frying? Yeah. Yeah, you cannot fry in the kitchen. It's I mean, against. No one has to know. So. It's against the rules. It's fire oh. hazard. So. And All it right. says over there too. Yeah, you could boil and you could make ramen and mac and cheese, but you kind of do frying and something with grease. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's it on says the over there. It says boiling is okay, steaming, warming, pretty good food. Yeah. But no roasting, pan frying, or no. deep frying? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, you no butter, no oil? Yeah, you okay. cannot make bacon. All right. Unfortunately. All right, yeah. sorry about that. It's all right. Uh, I'm gonna help you clean this. Um, somebody threw the trash in here. Oh yeah, like I, I didn't feel like walking outside to throw it out. So oh, it's yours? It just, yeah, it's my room trash. Yeah, it can. You can have thrown some trash in the oh, kitchen bin. God. Yeah, you're on your so own today. Yeah, man, I know. Yeah. I'm just super lazy today. I should fall the rules though. Yeah, if you could take it out from the trash. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Oh, make sure that you found the stove. Oh, why didn't you turn the stove off? Yeah. That's unsafe. Awesome. All right. Could you get the door? You still want that bacon? Sure. Yeah, let's cook. 
Where's the garbage? The garbage is like right behind that fence thing. Okay. Yeah. Such a wall. You got a lot of wires over there. Need to study. So I think you can't have extension cords at all. Oh. And you cannot plug one surge protector into another one. Oh. That's a no-no. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're gonna get in trouble, girl. I'll take it down. Okay. Um, it, it's gonna be twenty-five dollars for the violation if you move the beds together. Oh man. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's not worth it. Mm. Want some tea? I'm almost out of room. Whoa, what are you doing? What? I'm trying to make a room in my table. On my table so that I can study well. Uh, but you're overloading the bookshelf. That's not really allowed. Really? Yeah. You could probably fall on you or something. Oh, is it like against the rules or yeah, something? Yeah, that's not allowed. Uh, oh, wow, it's I didn't know dangerous. that. It's Do you want me to help you, like, take stuff down? Sure. This thing on the hey. door. Hey, what's up? Good, how are you? Do you want to come to my party? That's so cool, but like you're not supposed to be hanging stuff off your door. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought everyone could see and they could come to my party. Oh, no, it's it's against the rules, man. Yeah, should I take it off then? Yeah, you have to take it off. That's a I'm still down to come though. Yeah, you could have it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Dude, what is that? Dude, what is that? What? Is this oh, my god. <laughs> No, don't kill it. We need it for evidence. Uh, what do we do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, you need to put it into the bag so you can take it to the office. Because oh. they need they need to see it to identify what it is. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got this. Hey, let's, let's take it down to the office right now. What are you What are you doing? I'm trying to dry the towel because it's wet. On the AC? Yeah, it's faster. Oh, but you're not allowed to do that. That could be a fire hazard. Oh, really? Yeah, you're not allowed to dry anything on the air conditioners. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Hey guys, make sure you use this part of the blinds while opening and closing it. Using this part of the blinds could damage the blinds and you could be charged for it. Please give us feedback on your experience, including activities such as game nights or movie nights you'd like to see at the SRC. I hope you enjoy your time here and don't forget to make some friends.